I specifically asked him to introduce me as President Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that would get more applause. <laughs> and I kind of look like him, so... <laughs> Yes, my name is Dustin Snyder, and it is my first time doing this. I'm not going to respond, I'm just going to keep saying that. I'm mean, <laughs> doing this. And, uh, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I have a friend who is actually performing later tonight, Joey Conda, who uh, did this a couple months ago. And when he told me that, I'm like, hey, let me help you out. I'm going to write a joke for you. So I wrote a joke for him, and he hated it. wasn't going to do it. I thought, well, you know, that's no reason for you guys not to hear this joke, so <laughs> I gotta come up and say it for you. <laughs> we're gonna do it though, we're gonna do it. You have to imagine that I am a fat Mexican looking 23 year old bearded man. <laughs> it's not really hard to do, obviously. I like to hang out with 10 year old girls. Um, you know, not in a sexual perverted way, I just like to hang out with them long enough for them to develop a crush on me, and then when they finally tell me, I say, oh, you know, that's really cute and adorable, but I just don't feel the same way about you, and it's just not going to work, the age difference, and I'm sorry, I can't. And then I never see or talk to them again, because it's the closest I ever feel like a pimp, or a player, or a lady. <laughs> I mean, I've tried it with girls my age, and it just doesn't work out. I should probably stop starting conversation with, uh, what's your favorite episode of Hannah Montana? <laughs> I don't know why he didn't want to do that joke. I really don't. I mean, it was tailor-made for him, because he likes Hannah Montana, and uh, he likes hanging out with 10-year-old girls. <laughs> No, I don't want to slander his name. He likes hanging out with 10-year-old boys. <laughs> and unfortunately, that is the best my set's going to be, because the rest of my set is going to be nothing but inside jokes and had to have been their stories. <laughs> uh, my friend Chris and I were at this flea market, and I saw this trinket, and it kind of looked like an elephant, but I wasn't really sure what it was supposed to be. And I said, hey, is this supposed to be an elephant? Because I think it looks more like a Jessica. <laughs> uh, and the guy who made it overheard it, and he's like, what? And just the way he said it, I can't do it myself, but the way he did it, it was really uh, How terrible was set would that be if my entire set was just, you know, had to have been their stories? Because there's a tier of stories. Had to have been their stories are right there at the bottom. While porn stories are at the top, those are the best stories you can have. Those are, I mean, intricate plots, I mean, compelling characters, I and mean, that's why I don't watch, that's why I don't watch internet porn. I mean, because, you know, when you find free internet porn, uh, they take the websites, they'll take like a 30 minute long video and truncate it to only two or three minutes long, and they cut out all the best parts of the story. You have no idea what's happening here. Why are they having sex? I need to know this. <laughs> No, no, actually, this is morning. <laughs> you know, I was checking out my phone as he was calling me. Um, it takes place at a high school setting, you know, in the hallway, the lockers and everything. And these guys are clearly not in high school anymore. I mean, the guy looks like Jose Canseco. It could have been Jose Canseco. I don't know how he's doing that. I'm not part of Twitter, so I, I don't know if he's making porn. And this girl has clearly had surgery. Heart surgery. She had a scar right here. I don't know what that was about, but and this is exactly what happened. She walks up to him and she goes, "So you're going to John's party tonight?" Yeah, that's my girl voice. <laughs> I don't know, Jessica. I got a lot of homework I need to do. Oh, okay, but uh, I guess everyone's gonna be there, and I heard it's supposed to be a lot of fun. And then he's fucking her in the ass. <laughs> I don't know, 
Jennifer. I have a lot of homework I need to do. Has a lot of homework to do. <laughs> Me too, Brad, but uh, everyone's supposed to be there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Everyone's going to be there. Lots of fun. <laughs> Ass fun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call her out on it because she just had heart surgery. So. <laughs>